Hey, Sean McElroy here, back with another AutoLine exclusives. Hope everybody out there is doing well. Joining me today is Eric Pa. He's the VP of Hardware Engineering at Lucid Motors. Eric, thanks for taking the time to join me today. Yeah, hello, and thanks, Sean, for inviting me to your awesome show again. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I got to imagine most everybody out in our audience knows who Lucid is, but just for a little uh, short recap, uh, Lucid... Yeah, CEO of the company was a former chief engineer, the Tesla Model S, Peter Rawlinson. We've actually had him on our show before. Awesome guy. Uh, had a design, Peter Jenkins, a uh, veteran in the industry. I think he was previously with Mazda. But you guys are developing this luxury sedan called the Air. And Eric, why don't you just kind of take it from there? Go over a few little highlights of the car for us. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, we've been working on the Lucid Air for quite a while now, uh, several years, and we've had the opportunity to rethink how an electric vehicle, a luxury electric vehicle, should be laid out. And we took full advantage of that ability. So we started with a clean sheet of paper uh, back in 2015, actually, and started to architect a space concept. So essentially, the vehicle is centered around the owner you get all the space that's available in the footprint of the car to your disposal so the space concept is really the backbone of what the lucid air is about it's a luxury ev it's got about the footprint of an e-class mercedes audi a6 on the outside but it's got an interior space that is larger than uh, the next class higher the S-Class long wheelbase Mercedes or an Audi A8 long wheelbase. So that paradigm shift in terms of exterior to interior proportions was possible through an absolute dedication to miniaturization of our powertrain technology. And that's basically the second big thing about Lucid and the Lucid Air, the miniaturized powertrain, ultra efficient and, uh, and extremely powerful for a matter of fact. Yeah, I, I think I saw something from Peter Rawlinson, the CEO we mentioned just uh, moments ago. Uh, he said uh, the miniaturization of everything, he almost kind of, Doctor Who fans would know this, uh, wanted to make it kind of like the TARDIS, you know, uh, small on the outside, but big on the inside. So, you know, I, I always thought that was kind of cool. So, uh, you know, you talked a little bit about kind of what will set you apart from competitors. You know, right now, at least in the U.S. market, there's only a couple luxury sedans out there right now, the Tesla Model S and the Porsche Taycan. Uh, you know, how do you guys, are you going to differentiate yourselves from them? Yeah, that's a, a very good question. So uh, the EV space is fairly empty. Uh, that means there is little choice right now, um, especially if you look at the, the luxury EV space there. There is no real luxury EV to, to our knowledge. There is a, a great tech product that's the, Tesla Model S and their lineup, uh, but it's not true luxury. If you look at the ICE top of the line vehicles, they are in a different class and they offer completely different experiences and and um, design language, plushness, comfort features than you would find in, in the current lineup of EVs. So we are combining that uh, into the Lucid Air. So you get ultra high efficiency of an electric vehicle that is basically uh, vacant other than Tesla. Then you get the luxury aspect of the ICE engine competitors, and we merge that in an ultra spacious luxury EV. So give us a little bit of idea about performance, you know, kind of range, those sorts of things. Where, where will the air fall in? Right, so we've already publicly announced that we'll be way above 400 miles of range with our uh, launch vehicle. So that is uh, EPA five cycle range, by the way, not anything else. Um, so ultra efficient around four miles per kilowatt hour uh, on the cutting edge of efficiency. The performance and power of this vehicle due to our larger battery pack and the extreme detail that we've paid to the electromagnetic and thermal layout of uh, our motors and the efficiency that we've built into our inverters, uh, we can pull 1000 horsepower and above out of our battery and transform 
the feeling of the owner when he hits that accelerator pedal. Yeah, you know, it's it's quite impressive. I know uh, I saw a recent video that Lucid put out about how you went from San Francisco to, I believe, L.A. and only had to recharge one time on the way, you know, to make it on the way back. So, you know, very good. And I and I know I've seen some other stuff from you guys recently, uh, prototypes of the air just kind of sitting around ready for some testing. Uh, I think even some work on the the factory in Arizona. So where are you guys right now? Uh, how is development going? When can we see the car? Those sorts of things. Yeah, absolutely. That's a, an extremely valid question in these exciting times that we're in. Um, clearly, COVID-19 is somewhat impacting our modus operandi, the way we operate. Um, uh, you've seen the videos of our beta fleet sitting in our engineering headquarters, patiently waiting for us to crawl over them and take them out onto the roads for more range testing, performance testing, et cetera. So short of uh, using those assets and really developing their capabilities on, we're doing everything that's possible remotely. We are, we are trying to stay as safe as possible, following the guidelines of the CDC, the county, the state of California. Uh, but uh, in, in our brief uh, prelude, I already mentioned that we are sat behind our computers many, many hours every single day to bring the development of this car forward. Uh, final releases for the final uh, portions of the car, uh, tool management, supplier management, all that's happening online at a real high pace, full dedicated, thousand men and women are working at uh, Lucid Motors right now, and we are absolutely committed to, to this task. So while the engineering is ongoing uh, mainly in a virtual manner, down in Arizona, the, the plant is making extreme good headway and it's completely on track to our um, uh, completion date that was scheduled for end of this year, actually. Yeah, and I know some of the other things that uh, you're talking about, at least with uh, in respect to the air, uh, there was some more technology, I think, that you guys are trying to bring into the vehicle. Isn't uh, there going to be some autonomous driving or at least some self-driving features available as well? Yes, absolutely. So we are we are taking a measured approach to this uh, autonomous driving topic. In the in the past couple of years, you've seen a humongous hype of autonomy. Many promises of autonomy level five being right around the corner. Uh, we see that it's still quite a bit away to to actually achieve the level five autonomy. Now. What are we going to do in the Lucid Air? We've prepared the Lucid Air from the foundation to be an extremely capable car in the respect of advanced driver assistance systems and with a very high level of readiness for level three and level four capabilities that we are then going to roll out uh, over the air. So we've got a fully redundant 12 volt architecture already built into this car. I think we may be the only car company that can, that can claim that for themselves. And that is in terms of the 12 volt power supply as well as the information network. So I, uh, one of the cool parts about Lucid that has kind of been from the very beginning is the awesome rear seats uh, that will be eventually be available in the car. Eric, could you talk about those a little bit? Yes, absolutely. Uh, you're talking about our executive seat variant uh, of the Lucid Air. Uh, it is a, as a real comfort feature. It comes in a specific package that is going to be launched after SOP. And it is only enabled by our extreme detail um, that we've put into the space concept of the vehicle. That space that you have in the second row of the Lucid Air gives us the opportunity to recline the executive seat down to 55 degrees, which basically puts you into a zero gravity position. And you still have enough leg room in front, uh, not touching the, the front row seats when you lift up the legs on that little pedestal. So it's a, a real awesome comfort feature with heating, cooling, massage, all that good stuff. And we're gonna bring that um, in a special variant. Yeah, definitely one of those things that uh, I just can't wait to try and uh, try out by myself, you know, uh, always looks super comfy. So, 
you know, uh, it just talking about the air, we've got a thousand horsepower, 400 miles of EPA range, luxury amenities, features that are going to set you apart from the competition. I'm seeing videos come out about prototypes sitting around waiting to be tested. Eric, when are we going to see the car? When, when are customers going to be able to put these things in their hands? Right, so the customer del deliveries are going to start early 2021. So clearly there is going to be a, a slight impact because our prototype fleet is, um, is grounded. We haven't put out a, a firm schedule for the customer deliveries per se, but as I just told you, the, the factory is fully on track. Our suppliers are fully on track. The engineering is fully on track. And we're honing in on the final delivery date, but it is going to be early 2021. Well, it's going to be awesome to see it in the market. And so after the air, what what happens from there? Where where does Lucid go? Right. So we focused very much on developing a platform, not just a single EV. So with that platform, it gives us the opportunity to build many, many top hats onto it. We've got core components that we will be sharing. And we have a long lineup of different vehicles and platforms in the pipeline that we are going to uh, announce and launch at the right time. Well, Eric Bach, Lucid Motors, VP of v uh, Hardware Engineering, thank you for taking the time to join us today. I really do appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks, Sean. It was a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you.